Don't chase money. Just chase becoming the most valuable person that you can become. You don't have to be good at everything, but you want to become the best at one thing. Guys, on this video, I want to talk to you guys about 10 different ways that you can become more valuable. And that way, ultimately, you can increase your income. And if you become the most valuable person, money will find you. Do me a favor and pay attention to number five, because number five is what I think is probably the easiest way that most of us can increase our value and ultimately increase your income. The first thing you can do, guys, is figure out what is your gift? What is your talent? What is the one thing that you do better than most people without hardly trying? Or what is the skill sets that you've acquired and gotten better at over time, over the years? Maybe it's a skill set that you actually work in. Once you figure out what that skill is or what that gift or talent is, then become the best at it or at least work to perfect it. Hone that gift, hone that skill, become very, very valuable in whatever that may be. Whatever that gift or talent or skill is, just become extremely, extremely good. And when you become very, very good, you become valuable. I don't care if you're a plumber, if you're a mechanic, if you're a cook, if you've perfected that skill or that gift, then guess what? You don't have to be chasing money. People are going to find you to get your service, to get what you provide, to get what you bring. People are going to come looking for you if you can perfect that gift, that talent, or that skill set. Number two, the second way to increase your value is work on self-improvement. Read more, learn more, improve yourself. Self-improvement means taking in new information that's going to help you build a better person. When you focus on self-improvement and get better and better in terms of who you are and the development of you as a person, in whatever direction that is, you raise your value to the outside world. Number three, the third way to become more value is help as many people as possible. In other words, whatever you're doing, you're reaching out and you're helping millions. And if you can get to the point, guys, where you don't help 10 people, you don't help 15 people, but whatever you're doing or providing, you're able to help hundreds and then thousands and then into the hundreds of thousands. The more people you're able to help wherever they're at and whatever you're providing, the more valuable you'll become. Money won't be an issue. You could be something as small as a comedian. You don't have to just make 20 people laugh, make millions of people laugh. Find a way to reach as many people as possible and help them with whatever you're offering. Number four, the fourth thing is just simply, guys, being prompt. This sounds pretty elementary, but if you're there on time, and when I say on time, I mean you're there early before anybody else arrives, and at the same time, you stay a little late. Because I'm gonna tell you something, guys, when you go to a conference or you hear somebody speak or you're at a lecture or wherever you may be, doesn't matter. If you stay late, a lot of the one-on-one -on -one connection and a lot of the extras that you may get happen after, when everybody's ready to go home, everybody's ready to leave and get up out of there, if you just stay a little late, walk up, shake the speaker's hand, maybe help wrap up, whatever it may be, I don't care. If you stay late, a lot of the best parts of what you're looking for happen after the meeting, or they happen after the conference, or they happen after the speaker, or you meet that person and you do that networking after. So my thing is this, guys, come early, stay late on a regular basis wherever you're going that's of significance make sure you stick around because sometimes the miracles and the meetings and the handshakes and the extra one-on-one -on -one information you may receive can make you more valuable can make that speaker or whoever remember you and make you get something extra out of it that's going to push you to a whole new level Guys, if you're getting anything at all out of this video, do me a favor and drop a comment below about some things that you think would make folks more valuable. Now I want to get to number five. Number five is the one that I said stick around for because I think it's one of the most important of the 10. And it's also one that is guaranteed to make you stand out when it comes to becoming more valuable. Now, number five is this. Always, always, always volunteer to solve the difficult problems that other people don't want to solve. Now we can take this one and look at your job. Now on your job, there's always going to be problems or things that have plagued the organization or the company for years. Nobody's been able to solve it. Nobody even wants to try to solve it. This is where you come in. 
You come in and you volunteer to say, I will look at that problem. Now, just by volunteering to look at a problem that nobody else wants to look at, that's going to already increase your value on your job. But if you volunteer to look at a problem and then you end up fixing the problem or coming up with viable solutions to the problem, you just tripled, quadrupled your value on that job. Now, this could be with any group, any team, any set of individuals that gets together and does whatever, manages an organization, manages a company or whatever they may do. Guys, this right here will set you apart. The person that always volunteers for the tough problems, to look at them, to analyze them, to solve the issues nobody else wants to ever touch. Now, is it going to be painful? Yes. Is it going to be difficult? Absolutely. Is it going to be hard and you're going to be doing things you really don't want to do? Yes. But guess what? It's going to increase your value. It's going to make you super valuable because now you have solutions. Now you have thought processes. Now you have some tools that separate you from everybody else. Nobody else understands how XYZ works, right? But you understand it because you've looked at the issue. You've looked at the problem. Now you can make suggestions for innovations. Now when something goes wrong, they're going to call on you. Oh, so-and-so worked on that. He or she knows all about it or knows a little bit about it. Maybe they can help. Maybe they can now join our team. So just by volunteering to look at and analyze the tough problems, and then if you begin to actually fix those tough problems, and guess what, guys? Now you've increased your value. And ultimately, that can lead to more income, more money. The sixth thing that can make you more valuable is simply, guys, have a good attitude. Smile. Become friendly. Become the person that's optimistic, not pessimistic. Become the person that has a good attitude. Become the person that makes other people feel a little bit better about their day, about their life, about who they are. The point here is this, guys. We live in such a negative society. We live in such a negative, pessimistic world that just by smiling, just by having a good attitude, being friendly, it's going to set you apart from other people. You become valuable when people want to be around you, when people think that you're a good fit because you bring good morale. Those things are going to set you apart. And ultimately, guys, they can lead to more money, higher income, more value. Because nobody wants to be around somebody that's negative all the time, right? Guess what? I'm not going to bring that person in. I'm not going to pay that person more money because they have a bad attitude. But if you have a positive attitude, people are more apt to want to help you, to want to work with you, to want to have you on their team. And that takes me to number seven. Number seven is this, guys. Always put people first. When I say put people first, it's people work ahead of paperwork. People are important. Connections are important. You want to do work that is full of integrity, full of character, full of do the right thing when you should be doing the right thing. But even when nobody's looking, you're doing the right thing. If you approach people with honesty and you put people first, people are going to respond to that in a positive way. People respond to people that are honest, that are direct, that are caring, that understand, that show some empathy, some of those soft skills, some of that emotional intelligence where you're understanding how to deal with people, how to communicate properly with people. 99 times out of 100, if you take care of people, people will ultimately take care of you. Value people. And when you do that, your value in turn increases. Now, number eight, number eight is very important, guys. You have to be the initiator of change. You have to be the person that is out front and embracing the flexibility to do things a little bit different, to innovate. You don't want to be that person that is against change or against progress or against things that are different than the old way of doing things. You have to be the person that is out front, ushering in the changes, being the person that embraces when things are taking a shift and you got to do things slightly different. That's called a leader. That's called a person that is out front and willing to take the heat, willing to go through the trials and the errors of doing something new and doing something different. Listen, you can't avoid change no matter what you do or where you go. So you might as well be that person that embraces it. Be the person that's out front of it, not the person that's resisting change or resisting doing the new things because that person loses value because the innovative things, the new things 
that are in your area of expertise, whatever that may be, is where the value is. The value is not in how you did it back in 1985. The value is how are we doing it differently to be more efficient? Number nine. Number nine is this, guys. Surround yourself with people that are smarter than you, that can challenge you in your areas of expertise, that can show you new things, give you new ways to think about things, provide you a new angle to go about something. When you put yourself around smart people that will challenge you and push you to go to a different level, you're going to increase your value by virtue of being around people that are high value. I'm not saying get rid of all your old friends, but if you have to get rid of all your old friends, do that. If you want to increase your income, you want to increase your value, you can't do what you used to do, you can't be around the same people you used to be around. If they're not going anywhere, then guess what? They're going to take you nowhere. So if you want to go to a different level, then sometimes you got to leave behind the old people and surround yourself with new people. Surround yourself with people that are at the place where you want to go. So your network of people that you're around can make a big difference in terms of you ultimately growing into another level of value. Now, number 10 is simply this, guys. Focus on your strengths. Focus on what you're good at. Remember number one. Number one was you want to become the best at what you do. So the way you become the best at what you do is to focus on that which you do. Spend the vast majority of your energy and time doing what you do well so that you can get better at it. Don't spend a vast majority of your energy and time on the areas that you're not good at. If you're a good speaker, a good communicator, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of time doing math, right? You can hire somebody to help you with the math. If you're a good cook, you don't need to spend time working on a whole lot of other stuff that has nothing to do with you becoming the best cook. If you work on cars and you're an excellent mechanic, don't spend a whole bunch of your time working on things other than things that will make you better at being a mechanic. You need to focus on you're trying to become the best at what you do. So to become the best at what you do means you can't spend a whole lot of time and energy on things that you don't do well. Now, I'm not saying never get better at anything else. I'm saying be cognizant and be mindful of the time and energy you're putting into things that you don't do well or things that you can outsource. If you think about a, a major league baseball pitcher, when that pitcher hits the mound, he's working on pitching. He's not doing a whole lot of work on catching pop flies. He's not doing a whole lot of work on hitting the ball. He doesn't even have to hit the ball very well. They don't want him to become a great hitter because his number one job is to pitch the ball. And so he has to become excellent at pitching. And you don't become excellent in one specific area by spreading your focus all the way around to a whole bunch of different things. The same concept that a baseball or a softball pitcher goes through is the same concept that you should be going through to increase your value. Do what's gonna increase your value, which ultimately will increase your income. Remember, you don't have to be good at everything, but you want to become the best at one thing. Guys, that's my 10 things that you can do to increase your value and ultimately increase your income. Hey guys, remember, the best person to take care of the old you is the young you. Take care of yourself, guys, and take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.